Hey, thanks for tuning into Saturday. I'm Michelle and this is Alex and today we're going to do another product review. We have decided to review Cytomax. <laughs> Cytomax! <laughs> Advanced hydration drink mix with electrolytes. This was a prize from a triathlon and it was pretty good. And this thing has been in here for a while because that is dried up and crusty. You see that? We clearly enjoyed it. We consumed it fast and it's been sitting sitting in our RV garage for about a year now. All right, Cytomax, advanced hydration drink mix with electrolytes, multi-source carbs to extend endurance, tropical fruit, fruit flavor. <laughs> tropical fruit flavor. We just got done with a ride, so we're a little exhausted right now. And I didn't sleep last night. <laughs> Somebody's gotta get these products in the app database. I see 23 grams of carbohydrates per serving with 12 grams total sugar. The maltodextrin is the first ingredient, which means 23 minus 12 gives us 11 grams of maltodextrin. And then we have crystalline fructose and then dextrose. And those are your only carbs. Somebody do the math for me. Between fructose and dextrose, there's 12 grams. And we have no idea if it's six and six fructose and dextrose, or if it is, if it's 11 grams fructose and one gram dextrose, there's no way to know unless the company discloses their sugar ratio. I don't think this company does that. Although they are marketing hard to the multiple transportable carbohydrate mm -hmm. kind of language, which usually means they're trying to get close to two to one. Not that that's ideal, but that's what they think is ideal. We have no idea what the ratio is because they don't disclose it. I don't like the fact that maltodextrin is the first ingredient listed because that tells me that there's probably not enough fructose in this product. Um, it's not going to be a one to one ratio. It's going to be a one to point who knows because it's not listed on the product. Fructose is second and if they only put like one gram of dextrose in, which is the third ingredient, then there could be 11 grams of fructose in it, which would give you 13 grams from 12 maltodextrin, one dextrose, that's 13 grams of glucose, 11 grams of fructose, you get you actually get close to 1 to 0.8, but this product I doubt very much they're using 1 to 0.8, because otherwise they'd be marketing it, because that was like a hot thing. Okay, so next on the list we have Alpha L Polylactate Blend, which is L-Arginine, Glycine, Lactic Acid, Magnesium Oxide. Can I just stop you there? That is a waste of money. I completely agree, 100%. I don't care what the rest of that list is. Um, <laughs> okay. neither, neither there's, a long, there's, a long, there's a long list of other ingredients like anti-caking agent, ascorbic acid, xanthan gum, magnesium oxide again, coloring. None of those things are needed, to be honest. Cytomax does one of my favorite things that is not necessary or helpful which is they put in sodium and potassium at the exact ratio that it's lost in sweat. That was a marketing shtick first put out by Gatorade way back when. Just because you lose it at a certain rate in sweat doesn't mean that that's the optimal rate for replacement. Absolutely. Because potassium is not the limiting factor in blood volume retention or performance. They do have a nice picture on the back that makes it look really scientific. Hashtag science. <laughs> Hashtag science, yes. So they show the lumen of the intestine and then they show blood. So there's basically, I think these are supposed to be transporters. So the oh, glucose- It has to be right. If there's transporters, it's guaranteed accurate. Yeah, exactly. So they have the glucose pathway, the fructose pathway, the lactate pathway, and the aquaporin pathway. Obviously, because there's a scientific diagram that makes it legit. Aquaporin. I was like, what is that? Oh, water. Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's fancier though. It's, yeah, it's, it's way more. It's way more. They're telling science. you. They're telling you how your body absorbs the water that you drink. The Cytosport seems to be excellent at branding and coming up with acronyms that mean things. We have the ACS, also known as the advanced carbohydrate system. I don't think I've ever seen that in any actual literature on this topic. Cytomax drink mix provides 23 grams of carbohydrates from multiple sources, utilizing the body's energy ability to transport and deliver energy, glucose, fructose, and lactate through unique pathways. I like how they're actually putting lactate in it because they think that delivering you lactate is the best way to get your muscles and heart to use lactate as a substrate, as in your body doesn't make enough lactate. promise you that is not going to be an issue. Yeah. So of all the supplements that I've seen, this one is probably among the top products that I would rank as far as 
making their product look sciencey. I look at this product and if I didn't know anything, I would think, oh, that's definitely the best because they have transporters on there. They show the bloodstream. They show the lumen of the intestine. They say a bunch of sciencey things. So it makes users think maybe there's something to this. When in reality, there's really nothing special in this product over any other product. And I would argue that there are certain things in this product that would make it suboptimal for your performance. Like adding 63 milligrams of vitamin C, uh, eight milligrams of magnesium, which is unnecessary. Probably not that harmful because eight milligrams is almost nothing. Um, I think they have calcium in here, calcium phosphate. Oh, they have stevia extract. Uh, yeah. I just wrote an article on stevia. It's on slowtwitch.com if you want to check it out. Um, the short answer is stevia is unnecessary in products because um, sweetness fatigue is already a problem and you don't need to over sweeten a product that has adequate fruc fructose in it. And the fact that they include stevia in this honestly indicates to me that they probably didn't include enough fructose because if you put enough fructose in, you don't need stevia to sweeten it. That's very true. Fructose is the sweetest of all monosaccharides. So definitely if there is an equal like one to one uh, glucose to fructose ratio, which is what we're looking for, you do not need to add these sweeteners, promise you that. Let's look at where the sodium comes from. Is it sodium citrate? Is it sodium chloride? It's buried deep below arginine, glycine, lactic acid, magnesium oxide, calcium phosphate, natural flavors, citric acid. And then we get to sodium citrate and then less than 1% of malic acid, potassium citrate, silicon dioxide, anti-caking agent, ascorbic acid, xanthan gum, di methylpolysiloxane, <laughs> which prevents foaming, which is apparently important when you put all these other ingredients in there. Magnesium oxide, calcium phosphate, stevia extract, monopotassium phosphate, carmine. So there's no salt. It's just sodium citrate, which is actually, that's a good thing. Yeah. That's a good thing. I uh, support that. Yeah. I'm surprised that they didn't put any table salt in it. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, sodium citrate alone is great. Uh, minor problem though, uh, there's only 130 milligrams per serving. I was actually going to ask that. So what would one serving look like? What would one serving give you as far as carbohydrate sources of carbohydrates and how much sodium would you get? Yeah, it says uh, mix one scoop in eight to 12 ounces of water or two scoops into 16 to 24 ounces of water. So like on a really hot day, you might drink up to like 30 ounces, 36 ounces of water. So you could get away with doing three scoops at their recommended concentration in 30 to 36 ounces, which would give you 490 milligrams of sodium, but 490 milligrams per liter, which is 30 to 36 ounces, that's too low for sodium. So if you are gonna use Cytomax, you need to supplement another sodium source along with it. And I remember when we used this product, when we first got it, we didn't use just pure Cytomax. We used a little bit of it each day for flavoring. Um, and then we used sucrose and sodium citrate that we added separately, uh, just because I wouldn't recommend using Cytomax as prescribed on the label, simply because you won't be getting enough carbs and you won't be getting enough sodium. And you're gonna be getting a lot of other random ingredients that you don't actually need. And if you force it and you do get enough sodium and carbs from this, the flavor intensity is crazy high. Yeah, I mean, it tasted good. I like the taste. I, again, didn't have this just by itself. I mixed it with sucrose and sodium citrate. So I didn't get the full effect. And what is what is um, mixing it with sucrose and sodium citrate do to the taste? Uh, it just makes it sweeter and it makes it, that's pretty much all I noticed actually. I didn't really notice the saltiness at all. I just noticed that it was more sweet. It just tasted like sweeter tropical fruit rather than like a watered down tropical fruit. And I like my flavors really strong because I feel like when I taste that sweetness, I feel like I'm getting enough carbs, but that's a personal preference. Yeah, I thought it was fine. It wasn't special. It wasn't my favorite. Solid like six and a half, six flavor. The Cytomax Performance Nutrition System is designed to help you maximize physiological training adaptation to improve strength and endurance. That's what all carbs do. I mean, if this makes you feel better by consuming this particular supplement or this particular product, then fine. Yeah, if you feel like you need to trust scientific branding and that just like gives you, a, it's like a security blanket when you compete, then this one's for you. Yeah, if I was insecure about what my fuel and hydration plan was going to be and there was a big race coming up, I might, assuming I didn't have the same education I have now, I might gravitate towards something like this because it would feel good. Overall, I give Cytomax a solid B. Yeah, I agree. It's not bad. Yeah, I've definitely seen worse. Yeah, there's nothing that's terrible on this. It's just, I would say it's mediocre in my mind. So let's say you were going, going to go on a six hour ride in, I don't know, 65 degree weather, minimal wind. How would you use this product? Well, I would need about five servings per hour. 
so 30 servings over the course of my six hour ride, which means I would need to take roughly uh, a little over a third of the tub for my six hour ride. So if I do like a six hour ride every weekend, the tub's gone in three weekends, not including my weekday training. Well, this was a gift, so <laughs> this is a prize. So we didn't actually buy this. This tub is probably close to $40. Yeah, we would have to check on that. But I just can't justify if you ride a lot or you train a lot you run a lot you swim a lot that's going to be expensive very and i don't need i don't feel the need to pay for the scientific security blanket but that's just me what do you how do you feel about that same totally thanks so much for being here let us know in the comments what you want us to review next until next time thanks guys <laughs>